Hello, my name is Dr. Linda Gorman, and I'm a neuroscientist. Neuroscience is a really big word, but a neuroscientist is just a person who knows a lot about the brain. And I'm here today to talk to you about how you can help to make your brain healthy or to make your brain feel good. It's really easy and anyone can do it. I love to talk about brain health because it's spectacular. And spectacular means great. When your brain is spectacular, you're a happy and healthy person. This story is about social health, which is the S in spectacular. Social health means you're keeping your brain healthy by being social. Being social means you love yourself and you're nice to yourself. It also means that you like and you're nice to other people. When you're nice to yourself and others, that makes your brain healthy. So let's see how we can help you to make your brain healthy. Today, Rain and I are going to talk about all the things that you can do all by yourself. And this story is called, I Can Do It. Okay, now, when you were little, there were lots of things that you couldn't do by yourself. So Rain and I want you to think about this. Um, let's see, I want you to help me figure out what some of the things that you couldn't do when you were a baby that you could do now. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna raise your hand, just like Rain is raising Rain's hand, when you can do something all by yourself. Okay, raise your hand if you can walk by yourself. Rain's raising Rain's hand. Rain actually likes can walk, but Rain can actually hop too. Can you hop? Rain can hop. Okay, back to what we were thinking about. Could you walk by yourself when you were a baby? Nope, babies can't walk by themselves when they're little. In fact, when babies are little, they don't do much of anything. Babies tend to sleep a lot. They wiggle around in their cribs, but they don't walk. When they get a little bigger, they can crawl to get around, but they don't actually walk for a while. Babies have to wait for their bodies and their brains to get bigger before they can walk. Rain, did you know that? Okay, now I want you to raise your hand if you can eat all by yourself. There goes Rain's hand, yep. Rain doesn't need any help to eat. Now, can a little baby eat by themselves? Hmm, let's think about that. Nope, oh my gosh, if they can't eat by themselves, how do they get food? That's right, someone feeds them. First, they just drink milk. Then, when they can sit up, they need someone to feed them. Babies have to wait for their bodies and their brains to get bigger before they can feed themselves. Okay, raise your hand if you can talk all by yourself. Hey, wait a minute, there goes Rain's hand. Rain's a cartoon rabbit, so Rain can talk. Real rabbits, they can't talk, but Rain, Rain talks. But can a little baby talk by themselves? No, they can't. So how do they p tell people what they want? Well, they can't. They cry and they make a lot of noise, but people have to try to figure out what the baby wants. As the baby gets bigger, they can point to things, and some babies learn how to use signs to tell people things. Babies have to wait to, for their bodies and their brains to get bigger before they can talk by themselves. Okay, so little babies can't walk or eat or talk by themselves. So, hmm, I have a question for you. If babies can't walk or eat or talk by themselves, does that mean that babies are not smart? What do you think? Well, of course babies are smart. They're just too little and they have to grow up a little to be able to do these things by themselves. Plus, just because someone can't do something by themselves, that doesn't mean that they're not smart. Could you walk, eat, or talk when you were a baby? Okay, but you can walk, eat, and talk now, 
right? So what happened? Rain, what do you think happened? That's right. You grew up. But what does that mean? Babies can walk, eat, and talk by themselves when they grow up, just like when you grew up. Growing up means that our bodies get bigger. But growing up also means, what do you think, Rain? That's right, that our brains get bigger too. Your body and your brain have to grow up together because your body and your brain work together to help you do things by yourself. Okay, you can walk by yourself, but raise your hand if you can cross a street all by yourself. Rain, can you cross a street all by yourself? That's right, most of us can't cross a street by ourselves yet. Why? Why can't you cross a street by yourself? Well, crossing a street means you have to know how to walk by yourself. Can you walk by yourself? Rain, can you walk by yourself? Yep, we can all walk by ourselves. But you also need to know how to look both ways before crossing a street. You need to do this because you now know that cars could be coming and you don't want to walk in front of a car when it's coming down the road because smush, you'd get smushed. You need to learn to look both ways. Wait, is looking both ways, Rain, does that mean looking side to side or is looking both ways mean you're looking up and down? That's right, Rain, you need to look side to side. You don't have to look up because it's not a plane that's going to hit you if you walk across the street. It's a car and cars don't go up and down. So you need to wait until your brain grows so it can tell your body when it's safe to cross the street. Okay, you can eat all by yourself, but Raise your hand if you can cook food all by yourself. <laughs> Rain's not raising the hand now, are you, Rain? Nope. That's because Rain can't cook and you can't cook. Because why? Why can't you cook? All right, let's think about this. Cooking means you need to read a recipe. And most of us, you're just learning how to read. So, you also need to learn how to measure ingredients and how to use a stove. Plus, you need to be able to tell time so you know how long to cook the food. Raise your hand if you can do all of those things now. I can, but that's because I'm older and I'm bigger and my brain has grown. But again, you need to wait until your brain grows so that you can cook food all by yourself. So don't worry if you can't do it now, you'll be able to cook soon. Okay, so we know that you can talk by yourself, right? That's right. And we know Rain can talk because Rain's a cartoon rabbit, so cartoon rabbits can talk. So let's try something. Let's all say or sing the words to Old MacDonald Had a Farm. Raise your hand if you can either say or sing the words to that song. Rain's hand is going up. Is your hand going up? Okay. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. That's the first line. Did, is, that, is that what you sang or is that what you said? Good. Okay. Now, raise your hand if you can write the words to Old MacDonald down on a piece of paper. Okay. Rain's not raising hands now. How about you? Are you raising your hand? Hmm. Why do you think you can say or sing the words, but you can't write the words to the song on a piece of paper? Why do you think that is? That's right. You have to wait until your brain grows so you'll know how to write the words down. Some of you may know how to write some words, but being able to learn and remember how to write down all the words has to wait until your brain and your body grows up. Okay, you can walk by yourself, you can eat by yourself, and you can talk by yourself. 
these are things that you and Rain can do. But crossing a street by yourself, cooking your own food, writing down all the words to a song, those are things you can't all do yet. It's really important that you know that right now, there are some things that you can do and some things that you cannot do yet. If you try to do those things that you cannot do yet and your brain and your body is not grown up yet, then you could get hurt. Like you could get squished by a car if you're trying to cross the street alone, or you could get burned trying to cook food alone on a stove. And just because you can't do some things now, don't worry or feel bad. Just wait. When your brain and your body are ready, you'll be able to do those things. And right now, your brains are growing all the time. When your body and your brain gets bigger, you will be able to cross the street by yourself and you will be able to cook. Okay, now Rain and I have something very important to tell you because just because you can't cross the street by yourself or cook food by yourself or write the words to a song on a, on a piece of paper now, that's okay. And it's also okay if some of your friends can do some of these things now that you can't do. Everybody is different. That means our bodies are different and our brains are different. Rain, let's look at these pictures. Do all these children have the same hair color? Hmm, what color hair do you see? Okay, so is their hair the same or different? Right, it's different because the color's different. But they all have hair, right? That's right, Rain, they all have hair. Everybody has a body and everyone has a brain. But just like the color of someone's hair, their bodies and their brains can be different. Okay, now let's see. I want you to raise your hand if you can ride a bike. Rain, can you ride a bike? Nope, Rain can't ride a bike. Some of you can ride a bike though, I see that. Some of you can't yet though. All right, now raise your hand if you can tie your shoe. That's another one, Rain doesn't wear shoes, so Rain doesn't tie shoes. But some of you can tie your shoe and some of you can't yet. Now raise your hand if you can catch a ball in a glove. Okay, that's a hard one, but looks like Rain can do it. Rain loves catching balls. Now, if someone can ride a bike or tie their shoes or catch a ball, does that make them better or smarter than someone who can't do those things yet? Of course not. It just means we're all different, different in the way we look and different in the things that we can and cannot do. It has nothing to do with being better or smarter. It has everything to do with if our body and our brain have grown up enough for us to do those things. You need to wait until your body and your brain grow to be able to do some things. Just give your body and your brain some time and you'll be able to do all kinds of things that you can't do now. The best thing to do when you can't do something is to try and then ask for help. It's also good if you see someone who can't do something that you can do to see if you can help them. Now, there are going to be some things that you might not be able to do ever. Let's think about this. Rain, I want you to think about this. When your body and your brain grow up, do you think you'll be able to fly like a bird? Of course not. What does a bird have that people and rabbits don't have? That's right, wings. We don't have wings, we have arms and they don't help us fly. Birds need wings and we don't have wings so we can't fly. Okay, I said we can't fly, but wait, can people fly? Of course we can, but how? Rain, how do you think people can fly? How do you think a rabbit could fly? Well, people and rabbits don't have wings like a bird, 
So what people did was they invented airplanes and helicopters and rocket ships so that we could fly. Birds can fly with their wings and people can fly in a plane. Plus, in a plane, we can fly faster and farther than a bird can fly. Okay, I have a question now for both you and Rain. When your brain and your body grow up, do you think you'll be able to run like a cheetah who can go from zero to 60 miles per hour? That's like a car in three seconds. Of course not. Why? What does a cheetah have that we don't have? That's right, four legs. We don't have four legs. We have two arms and two legs. So we can't run as fast as a cheetah. But wait, can people go fast like a cheetah? I gave you a hint before. Of course we can, but how? Well, People don't have four legs like a cheetah, so people invented cars, trucks, and motorcycles, so we can go fast like a cheetah. Cheetahs use their four legs to run really fast, and we can go really fast in a car. Plus, in a car, we can go faster and farther than a cheetah can go without getting tired. Okay, Rain, I have another question. When your brain and your body grow up, do you think that people or rabbits will be able to swim as fast as an orca who can swim over 30 miles an hour? Of course not. Why? What does an orca have that we don't have? Flippers. We don't have flippers. We have two arms. And so we can't swim as fast in the water as an orca. You need flippers to swim fast. But wait, can people go fast like an orca in the water? We may not be able to swim, but can we go fast in the water like an orca? That's right, Rain, we can, but how? Well, people don't have fins like an orca, so People invented boats and jet skis and submarines, so we could go fast on the water like an orca. Orcas use their fins to swim really fast, and we can go really fast in the water in a boat, a jet ski, or a submarine. So there are some things that we won't be able to do even when our bodies and our brains get bigger. And it's important for you to know that you can only do what your body and your brain can do. And that's okay. But you know what, Rain? People have really good brains. So we may not have wings to, so that we can fly, but people can fly. How? Well, we can fly in the sky in planes and helicopters or even spaceships. We may not be able to run as fast as a cheetah because we don't have four legs, but we can go fast, right? That's right. We can go fast if we're in a car or a motorcycle. We may only have two legs instead of four like a cheetah, but people use their brains to figure out how we could go as fast as a cheetah, even though we don't have four legs. We may not be able to swim as fast as a dolphin or an orca, but we can go fast, and how? Well, we can use a boat or a jet ski or a submarine. Because we don't have flippers and fins, like an orca or a dolphin, people use their brains to figure out how we could swim as fast as those animals. An orca, which is actually a dolphin, can swim up to 34 and a half miles per hour. So even if you find that your body can't do something, Sometimes just using your brain will let you figure out a way to do it. Remember, if you're trying to do something that your body wasn't built to do, and even when you grow up, Rain, you won't be able to do it, then you can always use your brains to try to figure out how to do it anyway. So Rain and I wanna thank you for letting us talk to you about how there are some things that you can do by yourself now, like walking and talking and eating, and pretty soon 
when your brain and your body grows up, you'll be able to do lots more things. You just have to wait until your brain and your body grows. And remember, we're all different in how and when we grow up, just like we all have different color hair. And if you can't do something yet, just be patient. If your friend can do it, then maybe ask them for help. And if you can do something and someone else can't, you might want to help them. Thank you so much for listening to the story. And Rain and I know that you can do it. We've enjoyed talking to you about your brain, and we hope you've learned something about your brain. Remember, your brain is there to help you to do things that you can do. And when you want to do something like flying, you can use your brain to help you figure out how to do that. And helping your brain stay healthy, well, we know that that is spectacular. So thank you so much for all your help. Brain health, not just spectacular, it's fun too. As always, we want to thank the people at Johns Hopkins University, especially Dr. Ron Daniels, for helping Rain and I help you understand that you can do it. And if you can't do it yet, when your body and your brain get bigger, then you will be able to do it. And if it's something like flying and your body doesn't have wings, then don't worry because your brain can help you figure out a way that you can still do it.